I'm going to explain why you should be using Daiwa spinning reels. If you're like me, you like saving money while still having quality gear. Every year, it seems like something needs to be updated or maintained or fixed or even repurchased when it comes to fishing gear. But when it comes to Daiwa spinning reels, it's the exact opposite. Let's take a look at the two reels I have right here. This one right here is the Daiwa Reveros LT 1000 size. This one right here is the Daiwa Legalist LT 1000 size. Two different reels, two different price points, basically the same outcome. So in 2019, I purchased both of these reels. This one was $50, the Revros, and this one's $80, the Legalist. And last I checked, they're around that same price. The funny thing is, you would never know that they're that price based on how well they actually work. You would think that they'd be a lot more expensive based on how the drag works, how smooth the reel is, the functions it has, and how well it's lasted over those years. With this Daiwa Legalist, I've caught thousands of fish in just the last three years. Everything from bluegill to trout, musky, catfish, you name it, if it swims in this area, I probably caught it with the help of this reel. And the reason why I'm telling you all of this is simply because Daiwa makes excellent reels from the budget of $50 up to $100. I don't know any other company that does the same thing. If you look at Pfluger, for example, a lot of people have heard of the Pfluger President. It's a great reel. I know people personally that have it, love it, and will stand by it. However, their other reels don't match up, even though they're still in the same price point, and they certainly don't match up to a reel like the Daiwa Revros or the Legalist. Let's pay a little bit closer attention to this Daiwa Revros. This is a really, really great buy for the money. As a matter of fact, I did a complete review on it a couple years ago. I'll put the thumbnail up here. This is what it looks like. I'll put the video link in the description below. And I'll also put it on the end screen toward the end of the video so you can click on that if you want a more in-depth review on the Revros. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out some line for you. We're gonna test the drag. See how smooth that is? It's not making those sounds randomly or in a little pattern and then stops and starts again. That's how you know if it's a really good reel or not. Another way you can tell if a reel is good is by reeling in the line after a while of using it. Now, when you go to the store, you're gonna discover that every single reel is nice and smooth as you're reeling it. Like, wow, this is amazing. I can't wait to get in the water and try this. Then after a fishing season, you start to realize Ah, this isn't so amazing. There's a lot of friction here. It doesn't feel nearly as smooth as when I was looking at it at the store. But let me tell you, after thousands of fish being caught on this reel alone, it feels just like it did when I was checking it out at the store. There is no friction here whatsoever. It goes and goes and goes. And no, I did not clean it before this video. I haven't even cleaned it once since I purchased it. I probably will at the end of this season, but that just goes to show you can use this reel for three or four seasons before you even need to clean it. I looked at other reels around the same price point and they've given me problems pretty early on. For example, I purchased a reel a couple years ago from Pfluger that was around the same price as the Pfluger President that's supposed to be so good, and it is actually, and it didn't really compare. The Pfluger President, which was cheaper than the Pfluger that I purchased that was more expensive, not a whole lot more expensive, like 10 or $15 more, was actually worse than the one that was less expensive. I can't really figure that out. With Daiwa, you're not gonna notice a really big difference between a $50 reel and an $80 reel. I noticed it a little bit, but it's not a huge difference. It's not totally noticeable. One of the reasons why I keep emphasizing $100 down to $50 is simply because those are the reels that I'm used to using. A lot of times I fish for panfish. There's no reason for panfish, for the most part, to get a Daiwa Tatula or to give a $500 reel. It's just not necessary for me for catching bluegills and crappie. In other words, you can get away with spending less on reels and still having success if you choose to buy them from Daiwa. Let's have a look at the Daiwa website. What I'm gonna show you right now is the highest point down to the lowest point that you can purchase from their website concerning their spinning reels. You're gonna notice that the cheapest reel Daiwa has is $18. It's called the Strike Force. On the other hand, you're gonna notice that the most expensive reel Daiwa has is $860. So you've got a huge range there where other reel manufacturers go from maybe 50 up to 300 or you know so on and so forth. This is a massive range here. Now, if the $50 Daiwa is really, really good, at least in my opinion, in my experience, and it has been for other people I've spoken with as well, the $860 one has got to be absolutely unreal. So here's my point. I am not saying you should not spend $400 on a reel. Go with a Daiwa spinning reel, $50 up to 100 
look at their website. There's a lot of places that sell Daiwa reels. Their website, Amazon, Gander used to, Shields. Like there's a lot of places that do. They're all over the place. It's a very popular company. Find it, buy it, and use it. Maybe just start on one rod and then you can expand to more of your rods. I have a goal of eventually putting all my rods or hooking them up with Daiwa reels. Right now I just have two, like I said. I know other people that have different Daiwa reels in the range that I'm talking about from $50 to $100 and they like them too. That's why I'm saying it's a very safe bet if you're purchasing within that price range rather than just purchasing the two I showed you. Let me tell you, there is no other company, and if there is, let me know, comment below, I'll eat my words, but there is no other company that I know of that sells as many quality reels in that price point. Not one, maybe one reel, maybe two, but not all of their reels. And that's a really great thing. It's a really great thing for people getting into fishing or even experienced anglers like myself that just want to save money and just have a quality product and not have to worry about replacing two or three or $400 reels every time something goes wrong. The other thing that's really cool about these 1000 size reels is that you can use this for ice fishing as well. As a matter of fact, this is what I use for ice fishing. I take this off my trout and panfish rod and I put this on my ice fishing rig. You don't even need to buy another reel for ice fishing unless you want to, but I've used this for jigging for panfish in the winter, and it's worked great. And if you'd like to learn more about this Daiwa Revros, make sure you click right here. It's gonna give you a much more in-depth idea of what this reel is really about. Thanks for watching, have a good day.